Hello, my lovely Capricorns. Welcome to your horoscope for the remainder of the year 2022 and your major themes coming in for 2023. This information is coming in from the solar eclipse energy we experienced this past year. Very powerful and is probably going to be leading in for the next three years time, okay? You had three cards that came up during the lunar eclipse portal from the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse, and at the midpoint. We started out with... um. The King of Cups, love, a mature love, a love that lasts a lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Several incarnations of this love and divine protection. Your life could be a little difficult. You might feel alone. You might not see the... Um, the tangible effects of this love, but you should be feeling it, okay? You can be feeling this coming in through your crown chakra and, and warming up your heart, all right? I see a lot of spiritual support that you cannot see that's helping you carry these burdens. Um, I said it before, but definitely read that um, passage about footprints in the sand. You don't see your companions around you. You don't see the support around you, but it's definitely there. This full moon will illuminate for you that this love is coming in from God himself, your ancestors, your archetypes of angels definitely coming in with the hierophant this is the this is the figurehead of all religions so whether you're catholic whether you're in philosophy like buddhism whether you're jewish any kind of denomination it's a spiritual abundance that you're going to be experiencing a lot of you can't see it in your life right now capricorn is a really hardcore sign you go through a lot of struggles alone you do not show your feelings um your confidence comes from your sheer determination of overcoming objections and objects and uh hard times difficult times but what i see for you capricorn is your um crown chakra being the way that leads you through okay so working with any purple stone is going to help you at this time if you're struggling and also you're being led to like show your feelings to be vulnerable to show people a side they've never seen from you before it's also saying let go of your burdens there's a lot of things you've been holding on to that are tangible heavy things that are no longer for you that are definitely weighing you down on this journey let go of those things purge your closet purge your heart purge your soul go for what you really want a lot of you can get some stability and some uh, support from your religious texts from spiritual beliefs from any kind of uh, chanting also i recommend doing some work with trees they're very grounding for you but what's missing in here or maybe in your life is water energy. Don't forget, you're half mountain goat and half fishtail. So get your creative juices going. Take a break. Take a rest. Say a prayer and believe your angels are supporting you.